Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D Earth using 3D Studio Max. Um, the, in, the video works like this. Yeah, but it's going to have a uh, background and it's going to look better than this. Because now, this one was made a long time ago and I know how to add more things. So first of all, open up 3D Max. You can stretch this out all the way so you can you have a better workspace. Alright, but the first thing we're gonna do here is go to Google Images and type in um, Earth Full Map. And you want the Earth stretched out all the map. You don't want this or any circle thing. You want something flat. Okay, so this will be perfect for this. Just all right. What you're gonna have to do is now make a sphere in 3D Max. Uh, this will be big enough. Now let's move it to the center. Okay, and then bring it up. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, you're gonna go to the modifier and increase the segments so you don't see these bumps. Now it's gonna be just a smooth surface. Just bring it up so you don't see anything. Alright, that's all nice and smooth. Now you can get your um, map image and drag it into the sphere and it's gonna look like this so the earth surface is already made and it looks perfect you get the ice thing up here and at the bottom everything's just how it's supposed to be and if you render this out it looks pretty nice already All right. the next thing you need to do is search for um, uh, outer space and you need something that's pretty big like this and this is perfect so what you need to do is right click save it to your computer because you can't drag this over so now that it's saved you want to go to rendering environment and then here you're gonna choose none and then click on bitmap double click it go to the outer space image and open that up and just exit and now when you render this it's gonna have the space background alright so that looks very nice and then you wanna always have it centered alright right now we're gonna increase the time uh, so rescale time make the length 400 that's pretty good hit ok ok make sure you're always at the front right now Alright now, um, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make my text have this uh, chrome effect. So just search chrome. Um, anything will be good. Doesn't matter what it is, as long as you see chrome. And the size doesn't matter. Alright, I'm gonna choose this, but first I'm gonna make the text. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here and. text and right here type in whatever you want reduce the size and choose your font I'm just gonna leave it like that and then just click anywhere and you'll get your text now just uh, right click and rotate it and rotate it 90 degrees this way Try to get it as perfect as you can, alright, and then 90 degrees upward, like this. Alright, now you're going to have to move it in front of the earth, so on the red one, bring it up, and then bring this up, okay, and I have this, so we're going to scale this because it's too big. I think, or I'm gonna leave it like this because the size looks pretty good. So 
go to the modifier, add bevel to fill in the text, and then uh, increase the height. This is pretty good. Um, all right, you can add another level, increase the height, and then reduce the outline if you want. Looks better, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. And then you get your Chrome, drag it to your text. You get like something like this. Then when you render it out, it looks not so good on the Chrome effect. But if you don't want Chrome, you can just hit M on your keyboard, bring up this, and make your own thing here. Like. And you can add a shine. Uh, and then drag it to your text. 